Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Anne, and today is Sunday, March 31st, 2019. Now, on Friday, the Father and Yahushua gave me a vision where they said to me that the people won't believe that you came from heaven. Now, I made a video of this, and I posted it, and guess what? They were right. But I knew that they were right. I knew that they would be right. Because if the people did not believe that, that Yahushua, the Son of God, came down from heaven, I knew that they would never believe me where I'm saying that I am wisdom, the Holy Spirit incarnate or in the flesh. I am God, the Father's daughter, who has come down from heaven. I knew that they would not believe that even though it has been foretold in the scripture as one of the two witnesses. You see, no one could identify who the two witnesses were until God was ready to reveal that to them. And I posted a video where I revealed who the two witnesses are. Now, Yahushua has given me another vision this morning that confirms the vision that he gave me on Friday where they say that uh, they won't believe that you, the people won't believe that you came down from heaven. Now this new vision that he has given me is called I live with you in heaven and this is Yahushua speaking to me he's saying I live with you in heaven. Now before I get into that vision he also gave me three other visions but I'm just going to talk about one of the other ones and the other one basically I think was a preparatory vision for the one that I'm going to call the main vision and this vision I know had to do with the new Jerusalem with the new Jerusalem so I'm going to tell you about that vision and this is what I wrote I said, uh, I woke up at 5.47 a.m. and I saw a lot of things on my ceiling. But I was not sure what it all meant and how it fit together. So I'm just going to list what I saw. And that's what I did. I saw the words Jerusalem. I saw free. I saw heaven. And then I saw a man and a woman living together just you know just being being together now i saw these things oh yes and also i saw a bible i saw a bible an open bible these things were on my ceiling so i knew that he was talking about in heaven and so what i felt that this dream was about or this vision was about that he felt he wanted me to read about the new jerusalem and that's what I did. I did some study on the New Jerusalem, and I'm going to post a reading of these verses, some of the key verses, at the end of this video. The New Jerusalem is where Yahushua and I live together in heaven. The bride lives in the New Jerusalem. She is not the city, but this is where she lives. So you, Yahushua, is making that clear that this is where he and the bride lives in the new jerusalem and that's what the next vision which i call my main vision is about but this vision was letting me know where he's talking about he lived with me and so now i'm going to tell you about the second vision and the second vision i call i lived with you in heaven and let me just go ahead and read this vision. I woke up at 6.08 a.m. and I had a vision. I saw the lion of the tribe of Judah on my ceiling. And I saw written clearly, I live with you in heaven. Then I saw the lion of the tribe of Judah come down from heaven or come down from my ceiling onto my wall which meant that he came from heaven to earth. Then I saw him move along the wall, 
which meant he spent some time on earth. Then I saw the lion of the tribe of Judah go back to heaven. And I saw this by way of an open door or portal. I saw the portal or open door form and I saw him go through it. Then my vision switched from a heaven perspective where I saw the door in heaven open and I saw Yahushua come through that door, which meant that he had finished his mission on earth and he had come back to heaven. Then the vision ended. That was the end of that vision. Now, brothers and sisters, this is a confirmation of the vision that he had given me on Friday, March 29th, where he told me that the people will not believe that you came down from heaven. Now, in this vision, I saw a man and a woman talking. And then I saw a door open or a portal in heaven, heaven open, and I saw a man walk through that door. Now, I'm looking at it from the heaven perspective. And I knew that this man was Yahushua. He had come back from his mission on earth back into heaven. So I know that's what he was basically showing me then. And so the vision that he gave me this morning was a confirmation of that vision, but he just provided more details on it. Now, brothers and sisters, this is a confirmation. And I saw it from the heaven perspective. The man and the woman that was standing there talking was Yahush, excuse me, was wisdom and the father. And the man that came through the door was Yahushua. And brothers and sisters, I had nothing to do with God the Father and Yahushua giving me this confirmation for you. He gave it to me because he wanted you to know that this vision is from him. Now, everyone who plans to be in heaven in the kingdom are going to have to realize going to have to realize and contend with the information that I am presenting to you. And also I want you to understand that I am a servant of Yahushua and the Father just like many of you are. This is the role that he has put me in. This is my calling. This is what he has called me to do. And so when he gives me information or vision or a word or whatever, I have an obligation to present it to you. And that, and that is what I plan to do. I plan to continue to present these things to you as he gives them to me. Now remember, brothers and sisters, one of the reasons that God has to send the two witnesses is that they are sent to bring truth and correction on doctrines that have been established by man that are not true. The two witnesses are going to give their testimony and they're going to say these kinds of things that people have not heard and people are going to reject it. And this is one of the reasons that they're going to be killed. And this is one of the reasons that the people are going to rejoice because they are dead, because their testimony is going to, um, I think the Bible used the term torment them. And you can find that in, Re in Revelation 11 uh, verses 10 and 11. The people are going to be glad to see them dead because they're going to be bringing about these kinds of correction on their doctrines that they don't want to hear. They want to hold on to it. So brothers and sisters, I wanted to present that to you. I wanted to say that Yahushua is telling me that he lives with me in the New Jerusalem, in the New Jerusalem, and that's where we live together. All of these things have already come to pass, so keep that in mind. 
we are just kind of walking them out now. So basically that is the um, what I wanted to present to you, that Yahushua has given me a confirmation that he and I live together in the New Jerusalem, and the New Jerusalem is not talking about, I mean, excuse me, the bride is not the New Jerusalem. New, the bride lives in the New Jerusalem. So until next time, I will say shalom. The following verses relate to the New Jerusalem where the Bride of Christ will live with Yahushua, the Bridegroom. New Jerusalem is where the Bride will live, it is not the Bride, it is the City of God. Revelation 3.12 Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the City of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God and I will write upon him my new name. Revelation 20, 2 and 3 2 And I John saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. 3 And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Revelation 21 9 to 11. 9 And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will shew thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. 10 And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and shewed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. 11 Having the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Revelation 22, 17 And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Shalom until next time.